Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, we have, if you saw the last video, we did an unboxing of the Judge Red uh, miniatures game. And uh, now we're actually going to start painting our models. So, um, as you can tell, we're in a new setup. So, um, bear with me as we adjust um, to the new surroundings. Uh, but, uh, we're going to get started here pretty quick and uh, hope this uh, helps and uh, let me zoom in just a touch and you enjoy this video so to do this is not the judge dread model but i'm basing it off of uh, what we have on the back of uh, the judge dread models box um, for the dark blue for the uniform i'm going to use a leviathan blue works uh, pretty well the green warp lightning and for the gold we're gonna use greedy gold and then we're gonna wash that with Reichlin flesh shade um, and that works really well and it has no hair so for the uh, lawmaster we're gonna use a gun metal washed with a dark tone Skin we'll use Barbarian Flesh washed with um, Flesh Wash. And then the red around the uh, around the helmet we will do with, uh, where'd it go? Pure Red from Army Painter. So combination of contrast paints and uh, Army Painter. But to get started, I'm going to do uh, try to get the hardest to reach places first. Like the skin under here uh, is going to be a little tough. The uh, most of the uniform is pretty straightforward, uh, but we'll do the skin first, and we'll go from there. See what uh, see what works for us. <clears throat> All right. So with that, barbarian flesh. don't need much of that and I've got an army painter standard brush which I will be using for this and literally every other part of the body is covered except this part of the face um, they were, uh, all these models were primed with Gracier from uh, Games Workshop. And since it's a little difficult to get into, that's why I want to do it first. So I didn't want to, you know, go over the uniform or anything like that after we've got it all covered. Now, if there was more skin showing, I would probably start with the tanned flesh, then do the barbarian flesh, if you've watched any of the other videos. Uh, since there's so little skin um, showing, uh, we'll just let the flesh wash uh, work its magic. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and do the Leviathan Blue. Leviathan blue. Uh, make sure you give your contrast paints a good shake. If you see any white on the bottom, that's just the color separation. Um, Space Marines blue do that a lot. Um, this is actually, I mixed this up earlier as a test, and so that's why it's not quite as white. So make sure you give these a really good shake to give them mixed up really well. All right. So this is going to take just a couple minutes
Okay, with the blue done, let's go ahead and do the uh, green with the warp lightning. So again, we're going to give that a good shake. And... Now this is going to basically cover the different pads. The, his boots are green, uh, knee pads, shoulder pads, gloves uh, are all this green based off of the box art. We will come back and repaint that bait, that belt buckle gold. All right, I'll let that dry for just a moment. All right, I'm um, gonna go ahead and do the flesh wash on the uh, face. It's not gonna take a whole lot. Just wanna get that in there, let it fill up those crevices, go to work, start drying. All right. Okay, next up we're gonna do the greedy gold and the gun metal for the lawgiver and the armor. Let me go ahead and start, I'm gonna switch brushes here to my Ghost 3. Um, I'm gonna start with the Lawmaster. Be very careful around where the hand is. Okay, come right back and do the gold. All right, now the gold for the armor. Be very careful, you don't want to get that on the blue or the green or anything like that. You want to get it on the other colors. Just be very careful.
Alright, I need to do a few touch-ups before we move on. Okay, and looking closer at the box art, I think the nightstick is actually blue also, like his uniform. And then we'll paint the tassels, or the, uh, the leather strap, uh, and the hand grip with leather. But that actually looks to me like it's the same color. So whatever. We'll do it in the same Levite on blue. So back to that. Alright, so to do the hand grip and the uh, leather strap, I'm going to use snake bite leather contrast. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, pure red around the helmet. That I'm going to switch to a smaller, a ghost tiny E. See if uh, that makes life a little easier.
Okay. Okay, next we're going to wash the Lawgiver with the Dark Tone Army Painter Wash. Let's just give it some definition and depth. And now to wash the gold, we'll use the Reichlin Flesh Shade. Okay, with uh, the judge complete, uh, which is where we are now, all painted, washed, looks good, I like it, uh, for three foot tabletop distance, which is what I paint for, looks good. Uh, base, so they come on these, uh, they're kind of attached, this is very, very soft plastic, or uh, resin, so we're going to cut that off at the feet, and these are the bases that they come with. Now you can just glue them in there and decorate it and you're good to go but I'm gonna take it a little step further I've got some cork that I have cut in half and trimmed down I'm gonna put on there and we'll cover the base in some sand because they are it is mega city one and um, streets are you know where judges are gonna be are probably uh, not that great and kinda of like what we've got here for on the judge thread, we'll throw in some rocks, which will all be made out of cork, and some sand to give it some grit. So I'm going to start with uh, super glue in the base, and then we're going to spread that around. With a toothpick to make sure we get that all the way around in to make it easier. I have a, what I was had the mini on to paint with. A little paint holder here, which is a uh, don't, you don't need a fancy paint holder. I use a uh, soda cap lid, and then I just glued on a, an old base and use glue dots to hold the, the models on. Works great. No need to spend a fortune on some fancy. Uh, holder unless you want to if that's your thing you go for it I do have a couple uh, that I use on occasion but for the most part this works just fine All right, give that one get another one and run it just to smooth out the blue I did pre-prime these with a gray just to make them look like a street. And then we're going to drop that in there. And then I'll go back and I'm going to repaint the whole thing. So. Some other pieces of just cork pieces. 
and they just look like loose rocks or asphalt. No real you know, rhyme or reason to what goes where. It's just really more of a hey, this looks kind of cool. I'll stick that on there. Piece. Okay, and then I got a big tub of sand here, and I'm just gonna drop the sand in there. I think I got the sand from a playground or something. You can buy it at loads, it's just like ground sand. Nothing exciting. Alright, now we're going to let that dry so that we can paint it. And I'll be back when it's dry. Okay, so uh, we finished the base, uh, at least gluing everything down. It dried, and I went ahead and reprimed it all with uh, uniform gray from uh, Army Painter. Okay, so now we're going to just do a uh, wash of the dark tone again just to uh, fill in all the cracks and crevices and then we're going to let that dry and that's going to take a little while because we're going to put a lot in. get it all over And we're going to let that dry, and that's going to take a while. Okay, so now that we have let that dry, we're going to um, do a dry brush. And to dry brush this, we're going to use three different colors. We're going to use a uniform gray, ash gray, and then just a white. And we're going to use them for, uh, you know, darkest less because it's already dark. It's already pretty dark. So, uh, dry brush is a stiff brush. Um, you're going to load it with paint and then you're going to wipe most of it off. And then you're going to quickly go back and forth over the model and you can see how it picks up the raised areas. So, kind of like you see there. Do that all over. Okay. And then we're going to do same thing with the ash gray, which is lighter. I'm not even rinsing the brush off. I'm just going to go straight to it. Get most of that off. And then very quickly go over it again. And this is going to end lighter. So you really just want to get the higher raised areas with that. Just to kind of help give it that rocky asphalt look. And then just to hit the high raised edges we're going to do white. Again, I'm going to wipe it off, which is going to allow some of that gray to come through. And this, I'm really just hitting some of the highest edges. Just to help give it that really sharp contrast. Show the detail in our cork rocks. And I'm going to do it one more time with the white. So it'll be a little bit more white just to touch some of those raised edges. Again. Alright, now um, I'm going to go ahead and take that off. 
and I'm going to stick it onto another base so we can get the edge painted. And like I said before, I did the edge with the uniform gray, or I primed it with uniform gray. So now I'm just going to go back and we're going to touch up the edge of the base, uniform gray, just to clean it up. You can do it in black, you can do it in whatever color you want, it's your model. Gonna do it in gray because you know these are street judges. Okay, so uh, with our base dry, it's now time to separate our judge from the uh, base that they come on. For this, you'll want a very sharp uh, hobby knife, and to be very careful, kids get help with your parent, not responsible, if you slice your fingers up, etc., etc. Um, if you're not sure, don't do this. Uh, okay, so the easiest way to do this is put this flat up against what you want to cut up against the base and then just gently press if your hobby knife is in slightly rock and if your hobby knife is nice and sharp it will go right through it does not take a whole lot again make sure I'm flat here and just gently apply the pressure rocking it until Clean up anything we might need to. Now we're going to figure out how we want them positioned on our rocks. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe that. Yeah, that works. Alright, so, so blue. There, a little bit there. Don't want to overdo it. What do we decide? Uh, you know, let's just do that. There, that looks like a good spot. It's about center on the base, standing on our rocks. I'm going to hold that in position for a minute. All right, I'm gonna let that dry for a second. We'll come back for some final pictures. Okay, now that they're dry, um, here he is. Here's one we just painted. Pretty darn cool. Um, again, three foot table without distance is what we're going for. And here's the other judge that comes in the box set. Uh, pretty much just painted her at the same time. Our street judges are uh, complete and ready to uh, take the streets back. Um, okay, well, um, so there you go. Um, this video is right at 50 minutes. Uh, it'll be shorter when I'm about speed up through the longer parts. But uh, other than drying time, I mean, not bad for knocking out a judge in a uh, three foot tabletop distance. If you're wanting to do more, you know, more detail stuff like that, hey, by all means, go for it. Um, I look at three foot tabletop distance as what I go for. Um, that's my version of tabletop ready because at an arm's length, they look really good. Um, and that's what most people are going to see. So, Anyway, I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're into the Judge Dread game, uh, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you like the painting videos, if there's anything else you want to see, please leave me a comment. You can also find us on uh, Facebook at Texas Gamer Geeks, uh, The Game Room, Texas Gamer Geeks. And uh, 
join the uh, conversation there. But as always, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Bye now.